Hello everyone, I'm the Soloist, and welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. Okay. It, uh, it actually picked up right where we left off uh, this time, so that was nice. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Uh. Is the cord cut? Probably repair that. Because that's not concerning. Yeah. She'll kill you. 25 cents. I assume I don't need to go to the front desk. I, I have the key. But I'm curious as to who's here. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh. Oh. Uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Hmm. Have you seen snow here? Interesting. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. That's okay. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. No. Oh. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Oh, Five minutes. that's gonna end poorly. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official re- Okay, I was gonna wait until the cutscene ended, um... Chapter five, episode two. But I, I still do not understand why it keeps turning off my subtitles. Like bet between the subtitles here and the not sending audio out of the controller over in Subnautica, I like I don't get why it keeps doing it. A report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if. I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? I actually forgot what room I'm supposed to be going to. Is there a way for me to, like, learn and be reminded? <laughs> that's what I mean. That's what happens when you're across a week. Oh, I've missed out on some fables. 
Um, nope, that's not gonna help me. Georgie Porgy? Interesting. Oh right, I forgot that <laughs> I forgot that there's a whole aspect of her of her fairy tale that like whenever she walks it just she's in constant pain because Ursula is a terrible human being. Sheep eyes at his wife? Ooh, uh, what fairy tale is Clever Hans from? And Georgie Porgy, if I'm being honest. I, I just... Look. I don't remember where I'm supposed to investigate. Which means I have to go awkwardly be re-reminded by looking at my phone. So one second. <laughs> Okay, 207. That's the one I need to look in. I was okay with Googling that because I was just, I needed a reminder for information I would have had if it wasn't a week apart. And I think you all understand that. So 207 is the only one I've got to go into. I have the key for 20 whatever. Are there, is there people in this room? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I- This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Beauty, I'm out here keeping secrets well, for you. That's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? No! Oh. Baby? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I can't- 
Yes, I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! Oh! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Oh, they're just gonna throw him into the other wall now? Leave it be! This is my fault! Please, no! I understand! Oh. Whew. want to see this Jesus Beauty stay in the hall What why what's going on <gasps> Oh my god Don't touch anything Is this is this Lily met her client here Mr. Smith whoever he is And then it must have happened right here Jesus Last night Yeah I was on shift last night On shift Beauty what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? <laughs> she really called him an idiot. <laughs> loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? I really don't know. I'm about to try to find out. How how did he even know to be here? How did Beast know to be here? I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay, well that one stopped working at a certain time. So, you know, we'll keep that in mind. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Oh, it's in German. I was like... Why can't I read it? <laughs> Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Yeah, shout out to all the princesses getting put into deep sleeps. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Oh, ha! Sorry. Didn't think he'd I say it at the same time. Here. Brought wine. Classy. Hold on one goddamn moment. Ain't that... I see what's in the closet, and I wish I could unsee what's in the closet. 
I didn't even notice the apple on the floor. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. What is it? It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. That, that makes sense. I mean, it makes creepy, obsessed, sicko sense, but taking a terrible thing that really it's happened even in the to background Snow, of this cutscene. Setting up the scene in a hotel room with a prostitute, and then killing her for real. God. God. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What what are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. <laughs> it's a good thing I looked at that book it's the first. Same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. I don't like Georgie, so... I'm gonna say that she sentence. She must have been so scared. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. What's with the... What's with that, that, that red scarf? Can't investigate Maybe she that? she didn't see it coming. Is there anything else uh, for me? Oh. oh, I can play this real quick. I didn't plug my phone back in, so one second. I'm going to leave my mic on, though, because I'm cool like that. My phone is just dying really hard, so it's plugged in, but it's plugged in, like, across the room. So. Yeah. I just stopped at midnight exactly, though. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Yeah, if turned up, I guess. God. Oh, I can look at this apple. I just kind of forgot about it. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got Murder makes him hungry. No story. <laughs> oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? That's it so was. funny. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together, like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So what does that mean? It all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Oh. 
I was about to say, I was like, I think I'm about done. Music got really loud all of a sudden, like it did that on its own. Are those pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying oh, to get with a uh, beast. Closer. Not Beast. What's his name? Gaston. Who's looking through the mirror at them? Next step closer. What is it? Yes. <gasps> Crane. Oh, Crane's looking through the mirror at them. No! Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Really hate that guy. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I'm no. not gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. What? Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Ooh. We get an even better look. Uh at at uh at his him as a wolf. Also that music cut out really abruptly. Uh, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 21.4% of players sympathized with him. 21.4. of players were like, nah, we don't like that. Did I say 79? I think I meant 78. 78.6% of players were like, nah, we don't like that guy. Also, it's really weird to get this in the middle of the episode and then have to go on to the next one. It's kind of funny. Uh, how'd you treat the murder suspect? Even 45.4% of players persuaded him to talk. I mean, that's good. You don't want to go at it with violence with, with something like that. Because that's just going to make it worse for you later. 75.2% of players let her make her own decision. Well, that's good. You and 19.5% of players didn't hit George. <laughs> Do you know how many people that is? That is four fifths. Four fifths of the players that just hit him. You're in 19. Oh my god, that's an. That is another four fifths of the players who chose to hit him a second time. That's so crazy. That's so goofy. A skip? Send me right into episode three, Chief. It's kind of goofy to have to do all of this. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful... Ichabod, that's so creepy of you to do. so confused. <laughs> Let me just... I can't tell you anything. Please glamour you yourself you to walk. look like my assistant. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name oh. is Narissa. Wait. Well, now it's a little I'm sadder. Sure. Now that I know that That's she's the little question. mermaid and she has a move where she like kicks her arms. legs like it's a tail. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> it's Crane. 
I was like, that, that's so much sadder than it has any right to be. We're going with silence here. That feels way more terrifying. <laughs> Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Bigby, Why? you know that thing What's is disconnected. Shit! The crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Where did I did see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. She, she was getting ready to tear him a new one. Are you drinking? Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Beauty makes a wonderful point here, Big B. I would take it to heart. Like, she, she makes a wonderful point. He's upset, but he's not Snow. Seriously. He doesn't have money. How does he keep paying for these cabs? Also, how do you tell a cabbie to, to drop you off here? Like, what do you have to do to make that happen? Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. Why is her voice like if you're here, reaching out? Then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will Why? sustain I'll as well. Why? I miss worrying about you. And it will, I'll miss in our time, I'll equal miss you. Seriously, why is Snow White coming else? through like, like she's, and uh... And in that spirit that I'd like to talk about... Like she's speaking on a microphone. So now you will never die from Your indifference of her. or lead a tedious How she could life. Be stubborn My and sweetheart. patient, Thanks rash for and thoughtful. Vivian. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um, pageantry, and most You're of all, a big bright it shining star in this really shithole of a town. Dearly loved her I miss friends you already. and family. Grand. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, what did I do? I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. What? After you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. 
Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I just came to pay my respects, Holly. I don't mean any harm. Oh, really? You have no respect you can pay. You don't care about any of us. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Why did none of those other people back me up? Don't they kind of feel a little bad? I know you didn't come here to pay your respects, so whatever it is better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but... We need to talk, and this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! I didn't want to spook her. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. 
pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh. I'm gonna kill you! Why is she not moving? <laughs> There's no way that one shot killed her. <laughs> I I didn't want to ruin the funeral. I didn't have a choice. How did they find me? How did they know I wanted Crane? The only people who could have known were Beauty and Beast. And Crane himself. <laughs> a crooked mile instead of a crooked smile. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Gr Grendel? Oh, Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. I, why does Grendel this sound so familiar? I know. I'll have to call you back. Isn't the town is starting to find out? Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Isn't Best he life? from Big B? Beowulf? Am I making that up, or is that Grendel? No, that's Grendel. Who is Grendel? <laughs> so. To recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? There's no need to call out Buffkin. Together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it? Just... Wait for the mirror. Who's hanging off the tree yeah. in the back? What the hell is going on? Is that just me? Just 
I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And Good. I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Ugh, sorry, don't say it like that. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Oh. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know... Stop pretending. I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't know how to respond to that. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. <laughs> smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Buffkin. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. She's just upset, Buffkin. Seriously, who's hanging from that tree? Are we just not ever allowed to talk about it? Oh. <laughs> I went the entirely wrong way to look at his desk. That's kind of funny. Oh, there's his key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. If we have no proof of him being the murderer, the most we can charge him on is just being creepy. You know? I'll open the drawer in a second. I want to look at these letters. Ichabod Crane. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Do I know that name? Do I know that character? It sounds familiar to my brain. 
Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Blue Boy. Who is Blue Boy? <laughs> Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Did Mr. Green Toad. Did ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Who's Cole? Oh, King Cole? What's that say? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Oh my god. Yes, is it the Wicked like Witch of the West? His, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Someone is going to murder Buffkin. I on? sense it. Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Buffkin. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, Buffkin. you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Really and truly, it what the fuck do they what know? They know. After what do they know? Never go to their Excuse office. my French. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That 
has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't oh, like come on. anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Come on. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Don't make this a time decision, please. Bigby's going to go to the trip trap. Oh. Where's the other one? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. I want to go to Holly's bar, but I think she hates me. He must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. There's not much I could do I there. I hope you know what you're doing. Does that say bereavement? <laughs> oh, it does say bereavement. <laughs> I thought I read it wrong at first. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. We're definitely close to you. That's what it should have been. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Oh, he is drunk. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I walk through past the hallway and get punched. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Grin. Come yes, on, man. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? 
And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. No. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off Call me back. off guard. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? Our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. I really hope the woodsman comes to my aid whenever I probably inevitably need him at the end of the game. <laughs> Is Gren gonna punch me too? Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Gren won't remember this. God, that's funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna wake her. Crate of alcohol? Where are Lily's things? Oh god, I am gonna have to wake her. Oh. I'd much rather get her permission. 
Ollie. Oh, come on. Come on. We know we know this is wrong. I would much rather get her permission. Please find what you're looking for fast, man. Holly knew Faith? <sighs> that you, Woody? <sighs> Woody, is that you? No, Holly. It's me, Bigby. Bigby. Boss closed. And excuse me, but... I'm not in the mood for entertaining. <laughs> but what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Ah, oh, that was... That was upsettingly sad. Okay. It's the same one. In fact, that's the... Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. This is about to get really. Upsetting, huh? Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. I'd like to believe that's what I came here for, but I know it's not. Is that a finger? That glamour tube is made out of a finger, and you can't convince me otherwise. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Holly will remember that. If you were getting your glamour on this day, one of these has to be the witch. Oh god, I don't know what they but, Which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. Don't have a lot of oh. meeting is at two. I feel like Dean Dumb aren't gonna have the answers for me. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep I feel like Dean and Dumb will not have the answers for me. Okay. Good luck, Big B. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Bluebeard. 
bluebed burned everything. You have to be shitting me. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? Burn clock. That clock looks like Cogsworth, and you can't tell me otherwise. What information did these things could these things have possibly held? There was something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. Wolfkin's really just struggling out here. <laughs> what time is it now? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh... Seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. A Sometimes case? I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Okay. That's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode off for today. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me the games you're open to see on the channel. And if you feel so inclined, check out everything else that I do using the Linktree link down in the description. I've been the Solos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the start of Co-op Summer. Uh, this week, uh, we have we have two games. I don't know what we'll see next week. There might be three. For the co-op summer portion, I mean. You know. Because you never know. And if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying that. I know I didn't mention it in, in uh, Tuesday's video, but technically it hadn't started then. It was starting Wednesday, and I was yesterday. So, like, now it's Thursday. You know what I mean, all right? Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been the soloist, and I will see all of you when I see you.